Hey there! Let's light up your core strength today. Boost your strength of will and confidence with this practice. Return to our affirmation when things start to get tough. The fire within me burns through all blocks and fears. So grab your water and let's do this. Come to our comfortable cross leg seat. Place your hands wherever is comfortable and I invite you to close your eyes. Roll your shoulders up and back, sitting up tall, your chin slightly tucked, creating length in the back of your neck. Soothing breath in through your nose and a soothing breath out your nose. Begin to draw your attention to the space above your navel. This is the home of yourself, your unique sense of identity. This is where you project your power and your charisma to the world from. Fire is the element of this chakra, signifying change, transformation. Your inner fire helps to transform your life. So take a deep breath in of strength, preparing you for our practice today. And exhale any hesitation, resistance, fears, or blocks out. Gently open your eyes, bring your right foot in, followed by your left, sit up tall, shoulders draw back and down. Your chest radiates and begin to walk yourself out, letting your chest guide you down. Let's make this an active stretch, keeping a long spine, leading with your chest, hinging at your hips. Breathe in length in your spine and breathe out. Your chest draws you towards the ground, deepening into the stretch. Slowly walk your hands over to the right. Left hand stacks on top of the right for a side body stretch. For an added stretch, I'd like you to actively Press to the left, creating even more space into the left side body. Slowly walk your hands back to the center and then to the left. Stack your right hand on your left. Breathe in, directing your breath to the space of the right side of your body, feeling it expand. And as you exhale, it softens and relaxes. Slowly make your way back to the center. Tuck your chin to your chest, drag your hands on the ground, slowly begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time, your head and neck the last to follow. Once you arrive, place your hands behind you, deep breath in and slowly exhale as you lift your chest to the sky, soft gaze up, stretching out the area of your abdomen, release and come back to neutral. Inhale, long spine, relax your shoulders away from your ears and exhale your left ear to your left shoulder. Go ahead and close your eyes. If you're looking for a little more, you can walk your right arm out. Deep inhalation. And a long, slow exhalation. Breathe in, come back up to neutral and exhale your right ear to your right shoulder. Stay grounded in both sits bones, long spine. Walk your left hand out for a little more. Deep cleansing inhalation. And exhale completely. Breathe in, come back to center. And we will switch our legs. Bring your opposite foot in close to your groin. Extend your left arm out long. Crossing it over your body, bring your right arm up, grasp to the right or to the left of your elbow joint to help gently press your left arm towards your body for a deeper stretch. When you release the extended arm up to the sky, release your hand down behind your head, take opposite hand and grasp your elbow, gently directing your elbow towards the opposite side. Breathe into it. Release both hands up to the sky. The back of your arms press back. 
like they are scraping the wall behind you. Begin to cactus your arms and super slowly lower them to the mat. Extend your right arm out long and cross it over your body. Bring your left hand up to help gently press your right arm towards your body for a deeper stretch. Relax your shoulders back and down, creating space between your shoulders and your ears. Release the extended arm up to the sky. Release your hand down behind your head and take the opposite hand and grasp your elbow, gently directing the elbow towards the opposite side. Release both hands to the sky. The back of your arms press back like they're scraping the back of the wall and begin to cactus your arms and super slowly lower them to the mat. Once you arrive, take a big beautiful breath in and sit up tall. Your chest radiates and begin to walk yourself out letting your chest guide you down. Keep a long spine and lead with your chest hinging at your hips. Breathe in, lengthen your spine, breathe out, your chest draws you towards the ground, deepening the stretch. We'll slowly walk your hands over to the left. Your right hand can stack on top of your left. Slowly walk your hands back to center and then to the right. Stack your left hand on top of your right. Breathe in, directing your breath to the space of the left side body, feeling it expand. And as you exhale, it softens and relaxes. Slowly make your way back to center. Tuck your chin to your chest. Drag your hands on the ground, slowly beginning to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your head and neck will be the last to rise. Let's make our way to hands and knees for tabletop pose. Your wrists stack under your shoulders, knees under your hips, your chin slightly tucked, lengthening your tailbone towards the space behind you. Navel firms towards your spine. Begin to press your tops of feet into the mat and we'll begin to lift your knees a few inches off the ground. And we'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lower your knees to the mat. Come back to tabletop. In slow motion, we'll begin at your tailbone, rippling one vertebrae at a time into cow. Close your eyes and get in tune with your body, with your muscles, and super slowly begin at your tailbone to round down one vertebrae at a time. Your head and neck will be the last to drop. Let's take another super slow round of cat-cow as you ripple. Your head and neck will be the last to rise. When you get to the top, broaden your chest and exhale all the air out of your body and begin to round, round, round. Pull your abs towards the sky. From here, take two more rounds of cat-cow at whatever pace is calling to you. Move intuitively. We will meet in tabletop pose. Begin to bend to the right. Your right shoulder and your right hip will draw and round towards each other. Go ahead and come back to center and move to the left. Back to center, move to the right. Come back to center and to the left. And come back to center. Go ahead and firm your navel up and in. Your ribs knit together, extend your right leg behind you, your foot flexed. Level two, three, extend your left arm out and begin to round, abs firm up and in, everything hugs and elbows to your knee. And then we'll extend our arm and leg out long. We'll repeat this three more times. Same movement for level one, friends. Just both hands planted on the ground. Last one. Release your extended hand to the mat. Leg remains extended. Ensure your wrists are under your shoulders. Bend your extended leg, sole of foot to the sky, and begin leg pulses. Keep that foot flexed as you pulse. 
Keep length and space in your low back. Press down on your knuckles and fingertips. Your biceps spin out. All right, extend your leg long, and then let's bring it through, stepping it near your right hand. We will be challenging our balance here in a second, so make sure you have a nice wide base. Feet on two separate tracks, your knees stacks over your ankle, hands to your hips and rise up for a low lunge. Level two, three, you can tuck your toes and press up to a high lunge. Hip points square and forward. Inhale your arms to the sky and begin to sink your hips deeper into the pose. Lift your gaze, go ahead and come back to neutral. Clasp your elbows, breathe in, shoulders relax away from your ears, and slowly begin to bend to the right, creating space in the left side body. To help with balance, your inner thighs draw towards each other. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale to the left, Breathe into the space of the right side body as you feel it open, expand. And as you exhale, you move deeper into the bend. Inhale back to center. Extend your arm to the sky. Mini back bend as you cactus your arms and slowly release your hands, framing your foot. Bring your front knee back to meet your back. Knees come together, setting up for push-ups on your knees let's take four here all right let's go one two elbows knit towards your body three and four this time lower all the way to the mat extend your legs long palms stack under your shoulders ripple your spine up into cobra draw your abs up and in to slowly lower down with control Shift your arms so your elbows stack under your shoulders. Go ahead and tuck your toes. Begin to lift your kneecaps, engage your thighs, and press up to dolphin plank pose. Your, your heels press back and down. Navel firms up and in. Ribs knit together. Let's set up for a dolphin side plank. So right forearm parallel with the mat. Begin to press yourself up. Feet stack or one in front of the other. Hip stack and shoulder stack, left arm to the sky. Level two, three, feel free to take a few hip drops, maintaining a nice, strong core. Light it up. Remember our affirmation, the fire within me burns through all blocks and fears. And we'll hold it here. All right. Release your left forearm to the mat and hold for four, three, two, one. Lower knees to mat. Melt your hips to your heels for child's pose. Take a pause and connect. You deserve it. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Slowly begin to make your way up to tabletop. Clarify your foundation. Firm your navel up and in. Ribs knit together and extend your left leg behind you, your foot flexed. To help keep your hips even, glance down and ensure that your toes are pointing directly down and not splaying out to the right or to the left. Level two, three, you can extend your right arm out long. And let's begin to round our abs firm up, hugging in elbow to knee. And then extend your arm and leg long. Repeat this three more times. Breathe in on your extension and exhale as you round drawing knee into elbow. And last one. Release your extended hand to the mat. Legs remain, leg remains extended. Bend your extended leg, sole of foot to the sky, and we'll begin our leg pulses. As you pulse, keep length and space in your lower back. All right, go ahead and extend your leg long. Then let's bring it through, stepping it near your left hand. Remember, we want that wide base, so your feet are on two separate tracks. Knees stacked over your ankle, hands to your hips and rise up 
for a low lunge. Level two, three, you can tuck your toes and press up to high lunge. Hip points square and forward. Inhale your arms to the sky. And begin to sink your hips deeper into the pose. Lift your gaze, mini back bend if it's calling to you. Okay, go ahead and come back to neutral. Clasp your elbows, breathe in. Your shoulders relax away from your ears and slowly bend to the left, creating space in the right side body. Inhale back to center, exhale to the right. Breathe into the space of the left side body. Inhale back to center. Extend your arms to the sky. Mini back bend as you cactus your arms and super slowly release your hands down, framing your feet. Bring your front knee to meet your back. Knees come together, setting up for push ups on your knees. We'll take four again. So one. Lengthen your tailbone. Two, fill your fire ignite within you. Three, and four. This time you'll lower, slowly lower to the mat. Extend your legs long. Palms stuck under your shoulders. Breathe in and exhale using your back strength. Ripple your spine up to cobra. Draw abs up and in to slowly lower down with control. Shift your arms so your elbows stack under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, begin to lift your kneecaps and engage your thighs, press up to dolphin plank pose. Heels press back and down, navel firms up and in, ribs knit together. Setting up for a dolphin on the other side, so left forearm parallel with the mat. Begin to press yourself up, feet stack or one in front of the other, hip stack and shoulders stack, your right arm to the sky. Level two, three, feel free to take a few hip drops, maintaining a nice strong core as you do this. Let's ignite your inner fire. Hold it. All right, release your right forearm to the mat. And we'll hold this for four, three, two, one. Lower your knees to the mat, melt your hips to your heels for a wide knees child's pose. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice your heartbeat. Let's slowly begin to roll up. Sit off to the side of your feet and bring them around, extending them out long. Feet flexed, heels gently pressing down into the mat. Inhale, sit up tall. Let your chest radiate forward as you exhale, hinging forward at your hips. Hinge until you meet your edge. Keep an elongated spine. No rippling here. And go ahead and come back up. Place your hands behind you and fan your feet to the right and left. Go ahead and shake it out. Take a moment to completely relax every single muscle in your legs. Let everything go. Your feet lay however they lay. Close your eyes maybe and scan your legs and let them go. Keeping your legs loosey-goosey, bring your torso back up and we'll begin to let our upper body melt forward. Let your shoulders weigh heavy, your head and neck, let them go. Let's scan your body, relax your forehead and your jaw. Your neck relaxes and releases. Your shoulders and your chest melt away. Your arms lay limp. 
your fingers lay limp, your belly and abdomen splay open, your pelvic region relaxes, your thighs disengage, your calves release, any muscles still holding on, let go. I find that when I scan like this and release my leg muscles, that leads to my upper body actually to rise up a little bit more. What did you notice as you scanned your body? You may go through another scan or just hang out here and completely let go. Super slowly begin to walk yourself back up one vertebrae at a time. Your head and neck will be the last to rise. Do you feel super chill now? Well, let's do one more strengthening before we take it down to the mat. Hands behind you, fingers towards your body. With bent knees, inhale, rise up, calves parallel with the mat. Level two, three, extend your legs long. Hug knees to the right, extend legs to center. I'll hug legs to the left to center, to the right, inhale center, exhale to the left, inhale center, exhale to the right, inhale to the center, to the left, inhale to center, exhale to the right, inhale center, and exhale to the left. One more time my friends. Woo woo, your fire burned through all your blocks and fears. So the evening coolness really settled in here and I was getting pretty chilly. So my lovely cameraman's duty expanded to tossing me my long sleeve. Extend your arms out long and slowly begin to lower down with control. Let's take banana to the right. So your right leg slides off to the right side of your mat. Your shoulders shimmy over to the right and extend your arms overhead. Your right hand clasps your left, guiding it towards the right side. To take it a little further, you may cross your left foot over your right. You should feel the stretch all along the left side body. Breathe into the area on each inhale and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Go ahead and unwind, come back to center. We'll take banana to the left so your left leg slides off to the left side of the mat. Your shoulders sit shimmy over to the left. Extend your arms overhead, your left hand clasp your right, guiding it over to the left side. Remember, you can take the stretch a little farther by crossing your right foot over your left. Go ahead and come back to center and let's rest it out in Shavasana. Please take these last few minutes to let the nutrients of this practice settle in. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, extend your arms overhead for a full body stretch. Roll over to your right side, letting your bicep be your pillow. Deep soothing breath in through your nose. And a long, slow exhale out your nose. With eyes closed and attention inward, begin to press yourself up to a comfy seat. Relax your hands on your knees. 
Take a moment to notice the transformation of your inner fire now compared to whenever we first arrived on the mat today. Breathe in love and light as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, lower prayer to heart. Project your power, your charisma to the world today in a balanced fashion. You rocked it, my friends. Namaste.